Also, DMG uh, captain, DMG founder, uh, very prominent Sma Smash 4 combo, like combo content, uh, kind of conglomerate group of people. They do really cool com like uh, combo videos and like montages. Make sure you check them out. They just released their first ultimate montage a few days ago. Some si some sick combos. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll save the uh, the long explanation, but I, I go check it out. Yeah. So all right, this is Winner Sonos. These guys. Loser of this is guaranteed third, but the winner goes on to grands after 144 entrants after so two, much. Baby. But how many rounds have these guys had to play? They are now facing off against each other. Right. And yeah, PS2 uh, again, man. And a, and a banger, too. Team Galactic Bat? Okay. Ooh. That's a good one. All right. So I think one thing that's going to be super important here is punishing the banana pole animation with your laser. Because you're not always going to have the opportunity to be in his face to get the forward air. And the forward air is a really like short hitbox for, for um, Wolf. So being able to punish with something really long distance, really unpunishable, is uh, kind of going to be the MO here at the beginning. What we're seeing a lot of though is... Oh, you guys are casuals! Casual! <laughs> this is the second time! You guys are top players. You guys are in winner's finals. What are you doing? Dang, you know, I really wanted Hazards on, but these guys are making a compelling case for Hazards off. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just such a, it's such like a, a logistical error. It just, it just doesn't make sense flow-wise of the game. Well, we got some downtime. Well, coin flip. Thank you for the tier two sub. Hey. Use that Gucci dab. Hey, um, can somebody refresh my sub to Gucci, please? That'd be dope if you can. Somebody can give me a sub to Gucci, so I can use those. Do it during my casual streams. All right, fair enough. You gotta meet those sub goals. Anyway, winners finals here. Finally kicking off on a hazardless Pokemon Stadium too. See a lot of the same stuff we saw in that beginning of that first one, though. A lot of lasers from Daybreak, and then Zenodo not going to be playing too often without a banana in his hand. Yeah, the question is, who does that uh, reset really benefit? Right, right. It looks uh, like Zenodo's taking taking the early bouts of it right ooh. here. That nair gonna extend extremely well. Oh, wow, look at the way he's weaving back and forth. Right. Now, Zenodo, we didn't get the chance to talk about him much, probably because we didn't need to. He right. is a PGR player. He got second at EVO. It's not at EVO. CEO. CEO. Blah. Uh, second at CEO. He's, he's just been a constant force ever since PGR won. Like, oh, there's, yes. there's been many, many times that this guy's just been in the conversation of top and 20, top 30. There's not been a time that just has not been a great player. Oh, yeah. And not only that, but like a lot of people are wondering what Diddy can do now in right. this game. A lot of his kit has changed, and people are looking to Ooh, that, that was clean. Us. I like that. The banana fair, some really slick damage. Those aerial confirms something. You don't really see a lot of Diddy Kongs doing Smash 4, so. Oh, did that forwarder just trip him? It did. It did. Yep. Also tripping Smash 4, so keeping the mechanic. I like Daybreak using the Nair, though, but back here, ooh, smoking him to the blast zone, kicking him out of those barrels. You see Zenodo using the invincibility to pull his banana here, but left on the opposite side of the stage. Not going to have it here for this edge guard. Quick blast right. here, standing oh. in between him and the banana, going to disappear. I'm liking the movement from Daybreak, but Zenodo is just one step ahead. Mm -hmm. You see these B-reverse lasers, you see the wave bounce lasers, but none of them are really being effective at keeping Zenodo out. Instead, Ooh. he just gets into his face, and now he's at the ledge. This is such a rough spot to be in. Uh-huh. Forward air clearing. It seems like after every hit, Zenodo's going for that banana pull. Oh! Hoo-ha. Goodbye. Such a sad puppy. <laughs> You can, you can, you can kind of hear the whimper as he as he drifts really? off into the blast okay. zone. Okay, I gotta say, Wolf is the one of the only characters in this game where his like star KO animation yeah, makes you feel sounds bad. like he's having fun. He's like, <laughs> <"Woo!"> <laughs> Wolf back. <laughs> All right, got the shield grab here. Daybreak, kind of, kind of looking a bit bit shaky. He's getting mixed up by these like timing mix-ups. You see the down tilt, and you're looking for like an immediate option, but he just has the split second pullback of a monkey flip. That's been catching him off guard, so he's not been getting hit by those jabs that uh, Daybreak's been throwing out. Not only that, another thing is that Zenodo has been turning up the speed. If you notice, like, in terms of the amount of actions he's taking per moment is huge. Uh, Zenodo was probably one of the more aggressive Diddy Kongs uh, in Smash 4. Mm -hmm. And being aggressive in this game, we're seeing how moving back and forth, grooving, mm -hmm. it can be really advantageous. Daybreak is almost dead. He's on his last legs at 136% and an entire another stop for Zenodo. He's throwing out these Hail Mary down smashes, man. Got to find something to go here. Faking the ledge, Trump. Oh, the back. You're going to kick him to the blast zone again. Oh. You, you just kind of drift. You just kind of slowly fade into the blast when you get hit by that back air. So, Daybreak has has a small has a small pulse here, man. He's keeping himself alive, but just barely. This fair streak could lead him to something here, though. Able to air dodge out of it. Not before he eats two fares. 
Oh, he dropped a oh. banana too. That's such a, that's very unfortunate for Daybreak. Not able to continue that's, to follow That's a up. percentage thing. Like yeah. when you get hit, there's a chance that you drop it. Yep. Not automatic, I believe. Correct? It is not. It is not. I look at the option. There. Oh, I like the air, the air dodge to hesitate. His monkey flip was so effing good. <laughs> Because it stopped him. <laughs> you can see Squirrels in the background. He used to turn around and address Zenodo. Make that sure that so he okay. knows he's special. He, he used like the, the counter momentum of his air dodge back to stop him. So it stopped Daybreak from continuing the punish and like where he'd be drifting forward. And it gave him the forward smash. Question. Ten does, times out of ten. Did he the, does the reversal on that uh, monkey flip, does that still exist in this game? Oh, yeah. You can, be, you can be reverse pop cut. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go, baby. All right. I've been seeing Zenodo's Peach off stream. Uh, took out at Donkey Kong. Was really close, though. But his Peach is... It's, pretty, thought, it's pretty slick. It's, it's pretty slick. And if you thought his uh, Diddy Kong was playing fast, his Peach, he's just like, I need to... Yeah. I'm throwing out something every moment. I am pressuring you. I will be, like, four four lengths away, and I'm still going to be, like, doing float cancel nares. Just right. And I think if I you want to be a, a tournament Ooh. competent Peach, you need to have those float cancels on deck. It's such a, a strong combo extender because you see those down tilts, they link into they link into Nair at lower percents, and once you get the down tilt links into up air, like mid percents, it's just it's your pretty much a combo tool. That new down tilt is like easily the best change they've done to Peach. Great item coverage. Yeah, and Oh, the floats of the mix up, man! He's gonna have to recover. He's still stuck on the ledge though. Ah, uh, getting to that platform. Really great usage of the stage. Mm -hmm. And now Daybreak is having to dash attack in, dude. There is still rage in this game, and Wolf hits hard. He is not so. Oh, that Peach Dash Tech sending him very, very close to the blast. I feel like that got weaker. Mm, it'll still kill, though. Do not do not be afraid, my friend. Yep, there it is. I love the idea behind that, but it it's just, just risky. It's a bit too ri It's a bit too risky for the uh, the kind of deficit he was at, because he was definitely dying if he doesn't hit it. Oh, these down tilts, as I was saying, he went for the, uh, the up air drag down, but he was not able to get it, but continued the juggle and able to get the forward air. Kept him off stage. Enough right. time to shield the down smash. Oh, I love it. That side B having that huge hitbox. Yes. That's kind of knockback, too. Yeah, I know. Gets him off of him. Yeah. Which is honestly something Daybreak really needs at this point. Right. He's been stuck at the ledge. And the thing is, as Peach, she has so many hitboxes she can throw out at any instance. But they can all lose to one really nice hitbox. That's yeah. what I've learned today. Oh, he had a special turn up there. He had, dot, he had the dot face, which does uh, considerably more knockback than the normal turn ups. Often to throw it out though. All right, Zenodo actually not doing that many turn up pulls. Nope. It seems like he's more comfortable just like, uh, yeah, turn up his, tilt his tilts and like, like low to the ground aerial combos are very, very good. Yeah, so why get rid of them? Right. He can't down tilt if he's holding a turn up. I like Daybreak spacing out these lasers because he knows if, if Zenodo gets in, he's going to be going for those float cancel back airs if another dash tag takes the stock. Now, one thing about Peach is that she's still pretty slow, and I'm not sure, but I feel like if you tech roll away, like in Melee, if you tech roll away from Peach, she just can't catch you. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that might also be the case where yep. in that situation, he got caught, the dash attack lasts long enough that uh, his tech in place didn't work. Perhaps if he just teched away, there would have been nothing Zenodo could have really done except just take stage control. Mm -hmm. Oh, caught the turn up with the back air as well. A bit of a killed two birds with one stone there. Gonna catch the shield, the landing there, and wasn't it wasn't out of a float cancel, so it wasn't fast enough for Zenodo to act out of it once again. And so let's, let's very talk smart. About the fact that Daybreak is in the lead right now, he mm. was getting thrashed about that first stock, he and he's been fighting from behind ever since. And all of a sudden, just patient, careful, calculated Ooh. play. Oh, looking for the up smash there, Zenodo float canceling very close to the ground, throwing out those spares. Not quite the percent you'd see him be killing it, but he's kind of going for those like, hail mary options Did here. Did you see though the hair box shifting on that down smash? Mm -hmm. Low profile, exactly what he needed to do there. All of a sudden, all the momentum is in his corner. Who took the first stop? Who had to lead this entire game? It looks like it's been Daybreak the entire time. Oh, that was a hot backer across the bump shield there. Daybreak is on the forward tilted ledge. Going to catch him on the ground, too. Yeah, you see, it swipes downward. It collects the fingertips from the ledge, too. And with how high a percent that Zenodo was at, he knew that his invincibility would not last much longer. And... Wait, was he, did he caught like actually just hanging there? Yeah, he was caught actually just hanging there, yeah. Wow, so Peach is also, she's not like a high hanging princess. She is not. She, she, she um, she's very dainty in the way she, she hangs. All right, back to the, back to the big boy Diddy Kong. All right, yeah, wanted to try him out. Maybe a bit risky to bit know, of a try sampler. out a character like that in, in winners finals. finals. But, you know, though, Diddy Kong was doing very well against Daybreak's so yeah. But losing a game, or rather that Daybreak taking a game can give him a lot of momentum. He can start yeah. to possibly 
you know, build on some, build something off yeah. of that because it, it kind of gives you like the mental fortitude you need to, go, to t take on a player like Zenodo. On the other hand, if you talk about like the amount of adaptation that can occur. You know, now Zenodo has played against this wolf for three games, whereas this is only the s second game. He's played against that, uh, the Yeah. Mm. Ha kept it in the back pocket. Didn't want uh, Daybreak to get too familiar with it until he absolutely needed to. But has maybe a banana here. Oh, great trip to Ford Smash. Not going to come out. I think you might need to go to the next level there and look look behind you for the rollaway. Because that, at that point, any character is like, any player is uh, getting scared. Looking to reflect, Ooh. looking to reflect the banana. I like the idea. You see those dash down tilts coming in from uh, Zenodo. So down tilt still seems to sometimes. It's, it's still work. his combo move. Yeah, it's it's no all all of his old combos really still work. Really? Yes. Okay. Down tilt forward smash, down tilt up smash. All of those things are still very good bread and butter kill options. But I like the item play from. Daybreak. He is placing it all around everywhere but his shield. Did it you see the bait on the reflector yep, from that sick. Zenodo? That was ridiculous. Trading projectiles here. Zenodo taking advantage of it with the monkey flip. Oh, he's catching him! Oh, but spot dodge so clutch. Ends up getting the stock right there. I believe it was, that was with an up tilt. That was an up tilt, yeah. Ooh, I thought the second hit banana was going to fall down at Daybreak running on his parade, but we're living. Using that high angle of side B. Get him back to stage here. Really hard to sweet spot with ledge to that, especially if you're directly horizontal. It's re uh, really risky to kind of drop down like that, too. Oh, man. Daybreak going in just to get the banana. At the very least, it takes him out of the down picture. To, ooh, able to air dodge away. Didn't get, like, the, the dash in up smash like he would have needed to to get that stock. Okay, so he's still no banana in hand. And wow, right, the neutral till. there. That's some good damage. Oh, trying to read the neutral. Get up. Would have definitely tripped him and got that forward smash for free. Yeah, up tilt is still a viable kill move for Diddy Kong. And down tilt, up smash, that's Again, what we've baby. been seeing for years. All right. I catch him. Ooh, I like the follow-up on the air dodge. When he saw him air dodge the uh, the up air, knew the down smash was coming perfectly. That was also just a wonderful frame trap. Let's yeah, yeah, like that's what I am. Yeah, yeah, he can throw out that up air, and he has more than enough time to punish with a stronger hit like that. So maybe in terms of... You know, Ooh, catching the monkey flip as he's well. He's still alive, though. That time, still living, 153. If you are wolf, you do not All want right, to pass that off. There All we right. go. Oh, I got to get the taunt as well. Get yourself feeling it. All right. Now, one thing, he's been doing a lot less reflectoring because it just hasn't been working out. You know, Zenodo is so effective at scouting when he's going to try and counterattack with the reflector that now... He just kind of dropped the taking, option altogether. Yeah, yeah, dropping the option altogether. And I, right as I say that, he's actually hey not dropping hey it. Man. He's just putting it in the back pocket, taking it out the Thinking front when he it. needs it. A few lasers here. We saw the laser resets to kind of give him the breathing room that he needed to kind of think about what his next play should be. That came out to play when he was playing Ryuga, and he took that set. Ooh, the dash check again. I actually can't believe this. Those were so working. They're working out so poorly for him earlier on in this game. And now just he's made some adjustments. Instead, it's when he's landing like this, gets it out of the picture. Right. That time, Zenodo doesn't get caught by his own reflecting banana. But at least, yeah. you know, it helps him. Ooh, the covering the ledge with the forward air as well. It was a great game. Zenodo winning by the skin of his teeth. And that's right. We are in best two out of three. Yeah, man. It's a long tournament. Can't be uh, got to be out here by 2 a.m. at least.